Let's look at how to set up animated progress bars in SharePoint Online. This template is available at SharePoint-Boards.com. As you can see, this allows you to have a animated progress bar that moves from left to right. This is going to be useful to have an eye-catching display in your SharePoint list. In order to use this template, you simply need a number field with values from 0 to 100. In my SharePoint list, I have a number field called measure 1, and as you can see, I've got some numbers loaded into it. So in the template screen, the first thing you can do is check out some of the different theme options, and you can see some different color schemes um, and different adjustments to the look and feel for those. There are 10 different options of bars. If you scroll to the nodes section, you'll see the different options that are available. Before you start using this template, you do need to download image files, which are located in the custom icons help section. So begin by going to the nodes, then click on custom icons help. And then on the help page, you'll see a note that says download animated progress bars from this link. If you click on that link, it will download a zipped folder. Unzip that folder, then go to your site assets directory in your SharePoint site. You can get to that by going through site contents and then click on site assets and you need to load that folder of Im images, as you can see here, where it says animated bars. You should have the same in your local SharePoint site assets directory. So be sure to do that first. Once that is set, you're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and use the default template to begin with. So I just need to click on copy template Follow the instructions in the pop-up window, and then I can go to SharePoint, go to the column header, column settings, format this column, click on advanced mode, and then select all and paste. There we go, there's my animated progress bar. Now I did have inline edit option turned on. That means that I can click into this from the list view and update it that way. That's optional. You can adjust that option. Um, it's the inline edit option. You can turn that on or off. And there's other adjust adjustments you can make as well. So I may want to change the size of the bar, the width. Um, there's all kinds of different things I can do. So let's try adjusting some of those settings. Let's make it a little wider and let's make it taller. Let's go for a bigger font size. Let's turn off the inline edit mode. This time we'll not use a curved end. And then let's try a different bar uh, just to see what that looks like. I'll choose this bar and I can go ahead and reapply this template. The border color won't make a difference in this case because we turned off the inline edit mode. So once again, I just click copy template I can go right back over to SharePoint, go to the column header, format this column, and just paste over your previous code and save. And you can see a different effect. So it's really easy to make adjustments to the look and feel. Now this progress bar would be useful in a situation where you want to have a really eye-catching dashboard for your users. Of course, when it comes to moving images and things like this, a little goes a long way. So uh, generally subtle choices, something small is going to be more appropriate. But this could be a really nice extra flourish in a particular kind of chart or report where you really want to have a nice effect for your users. And that's all there is to it. You can find this template at SharePoint-Boards.com. This is part of the subscription package. If you do not yet have a login for SharePoint-Boards.com, you can sign up and have access to 20 free templates. Um, so please do come to the site and sign up for that. 
And then if you then go on, you can have access to more than additional 100 formatting templates. I hope you like this. I hope you have fun with this template and good luck.